If this is coming towards your house, the instinct most have is to run. Wow, it's awfully close. Yet even when told to leave, it's a mandatory evacuation order. And facing a wall of flames moving at 15 miles per hour, some people's instincts are different. My philosophy, my daughter's philosophy was we're going to go down with the ship. Douglas Farr took photos of the approaching flames. He planned to fight them with his garden hose, something his neighbors also tried. Hey guys, get out of there! The sheriff's department normally issues evacuation orders when a fire is up to four hours away. Enough time to pack up and leave. But this fire is unpredictable, and even though... They are a mandatory evacuation order. California law prohibits people being forced from their homes. Of course, common sense at some point plays a part. When the flames reached Scott Hanley's house, he was still inside. And every window you look out is just just solid wall of flame. It was like a tornado with fire. So far, no homeowners have died, but three people, including two who tried to ride out the fire in their hot tub, suffered major burns. They also tied up critical resources when they needed to be rescued. It put our firefighters in danger and rescuers in danger because we had to go in an area that wasn't safe. Which is why some are asking whether those who stay should literally pay for their decisions. Should people be held fiscally responsible for causing additional resources to be exercised because you refuse to play by the rules. The Sheriff's Department is taking down the names and addresses of those who refuse to evacuate, not to punish them later on, but to notify their next of kin in case they don't survive. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.